you afraid? About how the kids are gonna treat you there? I'd care less if the kids at Madison like me. I mean, they never did before and now went to prison, so. You don't belong in Pitton, though, Michael. Mom, I killed Claudia. If you hadn't stopped Claudia, she would have taken Jocelyn and disappeared. You saved our lives. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Just, you just, you don't understand what it's like, Mom. Then tell me what it's like. Come on. Okay. When you're in prison, if somebody shoved you around, if you don't shove back, they'll think you're weak. All right, I'm afraid if, if someone gets my face, I, that I won't be able to stop myself from reacting. I was so scared when you went into Pentonville, and I didn't even want to think about you in that place. But I knew that you would survive. I wouldn't if Jason wasn't there with me. That's not true. Don't underestimate yourself. You've always been strong. And you beat the odds when no one thought you would. You would have found a way to survive in prison without Jason. Now, I know that if you focus and you work hard, you're going to come out of Madison stronger than you are now. You'll stay in school. Okay. Yeah, Dad can handle going through another trial. I can handle going back to Madison. It's just a year, right? How bad can it be? How bad can it be? <laughs> I, I, I don't want any trouble with Mr. Corinthos. I, I was just there doing my job. All right, I'm just trying to do my job. Well, you're going to help out a lot if we can borrow that footage. Well, it shows your boss shooting someone. Don't you want to keep that away from the cops? Don't make a mask again. I'll let you know when you can come pick it up from the station. Oh, you, you can keep it as long as you like. Uh, look, I just want you to let Mr. Corinthos know that it was a complete misunderstanding. I, I wasn't spying on him or anything. Wait, wait. Can you step outside for a minute? I need to have a word with Jason. Oh. It's no problem. I'll, um, I'll just be, uh, outside. Now make sure no one bothers you, huh? This video's not enough to prove Sonny shot Johnny in self-defense. But Johnny did have something in his hand. I mean, if Diane can at least argue that it could have been a gun. Mind you, Claire's got a recording of Sonny laying out his whole plan to provoke Johnny and call it self-defense. Okay, so we're right back where we started. Not necessarily. There is a way this could work out for everybody, but I'm going to need your help pulling it off. What are you doing here, sweetheart? I heard she came back. Uh, I wanted to know why. Michael said you jumped bail because no one believed that you shot Johnny in self-defense. That was part of it. So why risk coming back now? Because I, I wanted to prove my innocence. I didn't want my kids to think I was a coward for shooting an unarmed man. You didn't say goodbye. It's weird. I thought I'd be glad that you were gone. You know, no more bites or forced family dinners. But when I really started to sink in that I might never see you again, I regretted all those months that I spent hating you, making you so crazy that you went after Johnny. This was not your fault at all, sweetheart. I'm glad you came back. Michael needs you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything I can to be the best dad I can be to all you guys. And don't you ever forget that I... I love you, okay? Where'd you go? Uh... To get some perspective. I guess it worked. You came back. Yeah, I got... I got some good advice. Tell Kate to have a look at this. Uh, I want to run a similar feature in Crimson's next issue. Uh, we're already doing a special on fall fashion trends, up-and-coming designers, must-haves for the holiday season. I don't think Kate's going to want to give up space for an article on charity. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were busy. I got some papers for you to sign. No, it's okay. Maxie and I were just wrapping up. You know what? Tell Kate to make space. And tell her to make space on the cover as well. I think Brenda would be the perfect person. Uh, we already did a mock-up with another model that Kate approved. Well, if Kate has a problem with it, just tell her to call me, okay? I'll tell her. Okay, thank you. All right. I'll check the Legal companies? Oh, everything's in order. So, uh, I know you 
have controlling interest in the magazine and everything, but uh, normally the creative is Connie's gig. Why do you keep us on the cover? 